Hello and welcome to uh, Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Bard's Tale Trilogy Remaster. I am your host, Lord Fenton. In today's episode of uh, Bard's Tale Tales of the Unknown, we're going to go to Catacombs Level 2 to gut it out. Here's an update on leveling and items. I think I got, um, let's see here, I got the uh, mostly the melee people there, mithril stuff and shield. I did get a fire horn. I had a hoop, uh, flute fire with a save. So I did use the fire horn, got an achievement for it, and then, then I lost the. Uh, pick proof of that but still I loaded back up and got lucky so let's go uh, check our casters they're all seven so they're also easy to level I decided to switch them all to sorcerers so that's right the next set are sorcerers and from here on out the uh, sorcerers will have a little bit of a uh, longer spears pool to get levels now well they do have more power so it's a nice change off and everybody has uh, 18 in their stats except for uh, luck or strength depends on where they're at. You saw quickly the female sorcerer, she looks pretty decent. They did a great job of this game, uh, making males and females in this game, especially the uh, females for the remastered, so it doesn't leave a gender out, so this is totally nice. So let's uh, do our uh, prep up before we uh, go into the uh, Catacombs 2. Since we have hard stuff, but let's see here. Um, Alright, let's cast some spells first. Okay, let's go down the list. Another new thing I uh, discovered recently is you could type in uh, the spell names. That's what they did in the uh, remaster edition, which made it real nice and more enhanced. So it's much more easier to um, find your spell at instead of just rolling down the list. In the old version, you need to know the four letter code. And if you learn the four letter code, then um, you're all set. Let me see here. In time to review the spells we got for the sorcerers. Mangor's Mind has a 40 meters uh, different spell to the 8 damage, 1 enemy, it's alright. Face Blur uh, blurs your uh, entire party so you hit less. Locate Traps will locate Traps will tell you trap nearby, trap nearby within 30 meters. It will also show on the map in Remaster Edition. Hypnotic Image uh, if cast, enemies will uh, miss a turn. It's not bad, but yeah, the Locate Traps and Mangor's Mind Jab is pretty nice. Let's go down there to the Catacombs Let 1. Yeah, I didn't take the lazy out this time. I just wanted to explore one last time for you folks uh, watching the video. But still, it's pretty nice to walk around for fun. And I want to do that anyway because I forgot to show you all. There's another nasty trap panel, smoke. You get hit with smoke, you need to recast your light spell or recast your torch. That's the only bad part, but the good part is, is you'll know it's there next time. So yeah, let's go down. Alright, about level 2, monsters will start to get tougher, loot will slightly get better, there will be some new items. If I remember right, Kel's Axe is one of them, which is a nice axe that uh, does poison damage if you connect on someone. It's basically like the Black Widow uh, in an axe, which is real nice. So let's go explore some more and have some fun with this. Alright, our new foes are Stone Giants. Now, Stone Giants will hit harder than your uh, Conjurers and uh, Mages. They're not fun, so... Let's see here. Firehorn. Alright, like I said before, I forgot to hit the uh, achievement for the Firehorn. And let's see what the name of that is. Let's go check this out. Now, the thing is, the Firehorn achievement is called Song of Fire. Or, let's just say, A Song of Fire. You'll see on screen when you grab your Firehorn, they are common in uh, Catacombs 1 and 2, more of 2 than 1. I just got lucky on level 1 getting a drop like that. Also, I heard they're common sewers 3, but we didn't explore that. We said we just straight, went straight towards uh, Catacombs 1. So, this is all real nice and such. And we got Finn's flute. It's an alright flute, but I prefer a fire horn. Speaking of instruments with bards, if you use an instrument, uh, it'll change the uh, sound. And before we talk about instruments, we just hit the uh, panel. And there's a sign just basically warning us we're in a layer of um, Bashar uh, Kalvar. One of the high priests of the Mad God. Yeah, he's not happy we're here, but let's go back to the instrument talk. If you equip a certain instrument on the bard, it'll change. Like, for example, you start with a harp, you hear harp music. When you get to the horn, you hear horn music. When the bard sings their songs. And so, because we had to lose all the um, spells on the trap on the panel, we have to cast every single spell over and over again. Uh, get used to that now from here. Till towards the end of the game because you're going to see more anti-magic panels that's when you're going to need to start getting more spell points and with these class changes uh, these spell points will uh, come in handy because your first three ones are 13 levels times three so 
X amount of uh, four through, I think, eight spell points per level. If you do the math, that's like a lot of spell points. And if you decide to level your last class, yeah, you get a whole bunch more spell points if you keep on with the same class later on. So it's all in all, it's very nice. And now we should be prepared to go on. All right, let's move forward and start casting a little bit of uh, Trap Zap and such. And let's be careful. Yeah, we just did that. And let's go here. Oh, no, a double whammy. We just got hit with uh, darkness. All right, that's where we are. Just keep yourself uh, calm. And we're going to go into the room, see, hopefully, we find some trouble. And nope, looks like we're still uh, lost. When in doubt, use the auto map. Now we're just going to save as a cautionary tale because I think we're going to face our first mini boss. And it says, you have entered the living chambers of Bashir Clavar, the high priest. He screams, infidel, face now the wrath of the mad one. Oh, man, he is so pissed off we raided his room. Oh, he's mad. It's just one master sorcerer. Let's uh, advance the party. See if that works. Okay, we got lucky. Sometimes they cast spells, so let's uh, do this. Everybody's going to see here. Attack the two, fire horn, hide in shadows. Let's be uh, preparing what we have to do next. Now, Master Source will summon dragons, and then immediately after, in this version of the game, will uh, the dragon will act in the 1.09 patch. The dragon will act in the next round, so yeah, I'm playing a pre-patch version of that game. So still, let's, um, let's get into it and fight. Let's see here, Lena's going to cast Dragon Breath. Stevie used a fire horn, 37 damage, she just burnt into flames. Yeah, if I use the fire horn first time, a song of fire will uh, appear on the achievement of this, well, only fire. Still, it's pretty nice to do. And we didn't get much, but yeah, that was just a point to show everybody a story, what we uh, did. And let's see, uh, we'll get back ourselves, reorientate ourselves. Stab our steel light spell, and let's keep going. Uh, looks like so far you didn't do much. Let's save, because anytime you fight a boss, sometimes you want to save our mini boss. Because like I said, save early and often. If you don't, you'll backtrack. So yeah, I advise you all doing that, so let's keep on uh, searching forward. And let's get here, and it says, This is the High Priest Treasure Chamber, his pet uh, Dragon Sphinx. Appears that your Sphinx eats now at Growls. And it went from green to gray all of a sudden, we're facing a gray dragon. Dragons in the game are pretty nasty at times. They cast Dragon Breath most of the time, and they do hit hard in melee range. So we gotta be careful of the dragon breath because some dragons will do over 100 hit points worth of damage. That's when you need to start panicking on uh, characters who won't resist it, like uh, Echelon and your uh, casters. But your casters, I think, will resist it more. So there are casters, and yeah, Echelon got hit for 53. He did jump into shadows. Cast an anti magic. Stevie did fire horn. Hit Konami in didn't land, and Fenton did a 10 uh, hit point crit kill. Yeah, I wish kill the dragon. Otherwise, it would have been next round, definitely, or Kalar getting the kill. But either way, it's a win win situation. And we got nothing out of it, but that was a buck crummy treasure room. Let's move on to the stairs. Alright, in our next segment here, we're going to try to actually look for the stairs here and now. So, let's first heal everybody up. Alright, let's see here. Restoration. Yeah, that was a cheap spell. Nice, cheap way to do it. Everybody's healed to full. Let's go explore some more. Well, there are trouble or new monsters will uh, hit. Let's see here. Since it's Catacombs 3, monsters will be now... I mean 2, I was meant to say, now monsters will be tougher. There's a nasty uh, trap panel in the room. I'll explain in future videos and point that out of not to go there. So it's like a trap area. So for now, we're just going to cast a uh, trap zap. Just be cautious. Yep. Well, that's a spinner floor, but still, always be cautious with the uh, intersection sometimes, guys. I'll try to get you uh, trapped. Uh, two stone giants, three samurais, new, not really new enemies, and a blue dragon. Blue dragons will uh, cast some um, dragon's breath, and they still hit hard at their uh, great cousins, or I should say sphinx. Let's see, start fire one, start fire the dragon, hopefully that lands, start fire the giant. Kalar killed it, 4x, okay, Kalar gained a level recently and got uh, 4x damage. 
mean, she does four times the damage, which ups uh, the Paladin stock, which is real nice. Same thing with the Warriors. I'm not sure among monks, if anybody plays Monk and does that, they could tell me. And let's see here. Next is a Blue Dragon. Now we're just going to straight up fight and take a risk. Let's see here. Kaylor swings, four hits, 32 times damage, and Elf Cloak. All right, real quick about Elf Cloaks. It's an item that most people set for the Hunter Wears at drops a uh, 2 AC, which is a real nice item. So I think we're um, try to search for the stairs, and I think we might be uh, close to it. So then let's see here. Let's see, I try not to get us lost. Did it last time with sewers. And I learned my lesson. I probably lost uh, some respect from the community for that. So let's see here, and nope. It's just bladesmen, werewolves, and magicians. Now, no new enemies, werewolves. Uh, the thing is, they look like uh, mad dogs, but still, they're not friendly. But they're uh, easier than the dragons and the stone giants and the samurais we did face. Still, it's a nice uh, breath of fresh air. And, yep. And let's we'll see here. That was all easy, too easy enough. And let's see what's in the chest besides a gas cloud to zap. And just gold. And I already have 280k uh, gold, which is real nice. Now let's uh, go find those stairs. And let's keep going and going. And looks like we found the stairs to level 3. Now let's get down it. Uh, that is it for today. This is Lord Fent signing off. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, watch out for dragons that could seriously burn you to a crispy critter.